so the compressor was overheated, so I pulled it off. Checking the voltage and amps. Alright, so I pulled the compressor off again. Obviously, it's locked up. Um, I got pressure in the system. Now I reverse these two wires to run it backwards to see if I can free it up. There goes nothing. Nope, it just draws high amps and the overload cuts it off. See a lot of copper. Oh, I can see that. Probably not. But this thing is stuck. It will not turn. So I'm gonna take it off. And this bearing's probably frozen. It's got a little bit of oil. I probably should take it out and measure it, but it's that's right here. Copper plating on this one is crazy. Oh, I can see that little copper plating around the top bearing on the crank. It's frozen, so I'm gonna see if it's that top bearing. So I'm gonna take the head off and see if I can take the pistons out somehow. Suction gas comes through here, discharge goes out through this muffler back down into uh, this uh, copper pipe that goes in the crankcase and then it comes out of here. There's your discharge line. Alright, here's the head. suction valve. I guess the other one slid down there whenever I tipped it over. But look at all that copper plating. On the valve plate. I'll see if I can take this off here in a second. See the other side of the valve plate, but that's a lot of copper plating. The cylinder doesn't look horribly bad. There's the bottom bang and the slash the oil pump. Dang. I can see all this copper. Just full of copper. copper plate now soon. Looks shiny but it's not good for your compressor at all. I'll see if I can take a picture, a better picture of that copper plate. That's it for this one. Just a whole bunch of copper plating. Here's the crank shaft. Bottom bearing. Top bearing froze up. You can tell all the copper plating. I was pulling 110 amps and the overload would shut it down. I'm glad I didn't have a burnout. Real quick, the suction gas gets drawn down in here through the center. 
when the piston goes down, this valve goes down and opens, lets gas go in. When the piston goes up, it will compress the gas. And on the outer, these outer holes is where the gas passes through and the discharge, discharge valve is right there. Finally got it free, or somewhat free. I should be beating on it. Uh, uh. Yep, she was locked up good.